guys welcome to life with stuff i am stuff so um today i am gonna be changing my hair so as you can see it's like a brownish i think it's coming through the camera a little more reddish but it's like a brown and then so a little while back i kind of got this kick of like you know how would dreads look on me so i did a partial head just the bottom half um so i have these down here um they've been maybe maybe a couple of weeks since i did it um so yeah have that going on they do need to be like worked on a little bit so today I am gonna go through and like lighten all of my ends uh, kind of do like a ombre type of look maybe I don't know I'm just bored with it so it's time to kind of like do a little something different um, I thought about going back to red but I just I want I miss having those like those, um, like, not different colors, but like different, you know, I feel like when you have like a couple different shades, it just gives your hair like visual texture, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm not making any sense right now. Whatever. Anyway, going to be lightening um, my hair a bit. And then um, I'll check in with you guys after that. Um, and I'll probably um, kind of tighten up these um, on camera with you guys. Uh, yeah. So if you want to see how this all turns out, stay tuned. Okay. So <clears throat> I just removed the top half I we did the bottom half first which is the ones that have the dreads so if you can see it's like a reddish pinkish orangish color but I actually really like it so I just took out the other pieces right now and um, I'm gonna go ahead wash it out and then dry it, straighten it. So yeah, this is where we're at so far. Okay, so here is what this looks like day after I did my hair and so I mentioned I was going to work on um, tightening these up a little bit Let me see if I can find the guy whose video I watched to do this um, because I watched like a few videos um, for like two, three weeks, I think, <clears throat> before I even went ahead and like did this. But so they're kind of already separated. So um, what he was doing is like twisting it, right? And then like separating it into two parts and pulling up. So see how it like bunches it up. So twist and then separate it and pull up. Kind of like you're tying a knot or whatever pretty much. Um, so then I'm going to go through and do that on my ends because I feel like the ends um, are the ones that I have like struggled the most with. But see, like already it, it looks well, 
maybe you can see, I don't know, it feels better, it feels tighter towards the bottom. Um, and so I'm going to go through and do that, so here's another piece, right, pretty good mostly, and I'm just going to go through and pull, twist, and pull. Be like blocking it or something, I don't know. Pull and then twist and pull. So much better already. So I'm gonna go through and do this um, on all of my ends. And then um when I get home, because I'm at work right now, but when I get home, what I'm gonna go through and do is um use a a needle a crochet needle and I'm just gonna like you know like tie, like wrap up little loose hairs and then you like push your needle through and pull it out and kind of work your way down um and there's there's like different styles that I saw honestly um there was one that was just done with like a brush and the the needle um and i actually originally tried that one um on a couple of dreads but i just i didn't like it i didn't feel like it was tight enough um and then when i saw this one from this guy where he was doing his girlfriend's hair and it was just like he was just twisting it and then splitting it, whatever. It seemed to like, like I really liked it. It seemed a lot easier than the other one. Um, and so I just went ahead and tried it. I brushed out the other ones and went ahead and like tried out the one that I saw him do. And it's honestly worked so much better. Um, like I feel like for the most part they've, they've done well. Um, and considering that I did them myself with, like, no previous experience, um, I, I kind of feel like I did pretty good using his method. And he's, like, a, like, a hairdresser, I think. So, obviously, he, like, knows what he's doing. Um, but, like, I've kind of been happy with, um, how these have turned out. I already did this little bunch here. Um, and I'll go through and do the other ones. And then when I get home, I'll go ahead and um, show you guys the um, the rest the rest of the process as far as like with the with the needle and then after that I should be done with my hair so yeah I will check in with you guys in a little bit okay so I've already went through and tightened these up um I was just doing it while I was laying down watching some supernatural um but just and show you real quick as far as like how I was doing it so needle this is so 8 or 1.5 so pretty much just like poking it through you know poke it through and then you kind of like pull whatever loose hairs are around there And a lot of it I do, I did by just like touch, um, like, say like those little hairs right there, it's like, and then pulling them through. 
Like I didn't, today I didn't really use the mirror whatsoever. Um, I think like the first time when I originally did this, I, I was using the mirror. But so far everything else has just been by touch. Um, so it's pretty much it. So I have um, partial and then I think I've got three rows I want to say. Um, and so far I've, I've really enjoyed them. Um, I saw some girls commenting about like their regular hair kind of like getting mixed in um, with their dreads. That hasn't really happened to me. Uh, I don't know what would like really make the difference in that um and then as far as like like last night I washed my hair and um just like normal because since I um did the ends I wanted to you know wash it and get rid of any um bleach that I might have left in there but one of the girls that I was watching, she was talking about making some like natural oil spray. Um, and then also about like making sure, see this one I'm having such an issue with. Cause it's, I feel like I messed up, like made it thicker than it should have been. But I think it's just kind of like one specific part that I'm having issues with because the hair chunk itself doesn't feel as thick so this one's gonna be a problem child I think just you know till I get it exactly how I want it um oh uh but yeah she was talking about like if you get them wet you know don't put them up in a bun don't let them uh get like that gross smell you know so last night what I did is um washed my hair and then I blow dried it um because I wanted to straighten like the rest of my hair um so I just blow dried it and then once I was straight I just kind of slept with my hair down um which was nice because it also helped with like when I originally did these I felt like they were kind of sticking out quite a bit which I mean like I guess if I like mess with them they'll you know they'll kind of do that but it helped out as far as like kind of keeping them uh not kind of like flat like flatter to my head I guess you could say um like sleeping with them and letting them air dry overnight while I slept so yeah so far as far as like the cons of like having it get mixed in with my natural hair hasn't really happened um I think next what I want to do is um add like some like, you know like those hair wrap things or like beads or something um I think I want to do that too but yeah pretty much I mean you guys have seen this whole time that I've been just talking um just kind of putting the needle in already showed you guys um you know the original tightening um not tightening but the original dread how I do it tightening process um so yeah but this is
pretty much gonna be my hair for a little while. Some fiery ends, partial dreads. Kind of really liking it actually. I was a little worried about the dreads, you know, like how they might feel or, you know, maybe, I don't know, what people might think. And then finally I was like, you know what, screw it. I want them, I'm gonna do them. So, started doing them. And so far I'm, I'm really happy with just the bottom half and I don't, I think I'll just stay to the bottom half. I don't think I'll add any more to the top. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and we'll see what the next fun thing is that I decide to do with my hair. Bye guys.